All right, everybody, pull up a cup of cup. Uh, I'm about to tell you some shit. All right, ready? Ready for the shit? All right, I got my hair. <laughs> I got my hair do the way I want it. So this is Topo Chico. My daughter, Erica, um, wanted me to drink it. So I got some. Should be proud of me. Um, I met interesting characters. And I was treated really well. And I'm a solo traveler, female, 60-something uh, now. And therefore, I'm telling women who may be trepidatious to do it on their own from a different generation, there are beautiful ways to travel, which is safe and also adventuresome. Okay? So I stayed at a place, uh, and it's on the Airbnb listing. But if you can't find it because it disappears or something, then you can call them directly. And uh, this couple is uh, Rhonda and Wes. They're both artists, and uh, he's a banjo player. And they're yogis. So they have a bed and breakfast. Not a bed and breakfast. I'm talking about a bed. And it's private, and it has its own patio, porch. So you can go there and um, enjoy that. I'm just letting you know that's uh, where you go to enjoy yourselves and be one mile from the beach. It's, it's on an island that's got sound on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on the other. It's a magnificent piece of North Carolina history. It's in the famous area of the um, Bluebeard, or was it Blackbeard? But the pirate, you know, that was notorious for being a swashbuckler and a thief and a rather adept sailor uh, who could outmaneuver um, trader ships and loot. <laughs> We're told, but um, Stead, Stead Bonet is his name. So that's a really interesting part of history. I don't get to go to ball tent anymore because I was married to a man who was wealthy, uh, but cruel. And so I had to give up materialism and materialistic safety for the sanity of my own spirit and soul. So my soul growth is the most important thing to me recognizing that I am a spirit incarnate in flesh and having a worldly experience is how I am going about my life very consciously uh, oh man I had so much fun met people and then Edenton was great and just such delight like just got surprisingly um, I, I guess it's because I'm kind of fun you know I ask good questions. Like if we did a live, I would I would probably enjoy that. But until I have an audience that would actually be interested in a live, there's no point in my being live because I'll tell you why. I don't like the idea of being live on the internet. I like pre-recorded things like what I'm doing with you right now. But then when you listen to it, it seems personable, like I'm talking to you. So. That's how I roll. I'm going to continue to roll that way. I don't really want to do a live unless there is an event or something that I'm actually hosting. And I will do a live in that case. I am going to be doing a yoga retreat. And I am, we are going to go to Frisco. So if you're interested, I can help with accommodations. I can let you know the best places to stay. And we can coordinate it so that everybody can be there at the same time. Because not all of us can afford... The Sea Whispers. Sea Whisper is the best condominium uh, place to rent that has the sound on one side and the ocean on the other. And you never have to drive. Ever. Now, I haven't looked at whole homes on the ocean um, because I really do just like Frisco and South. It's got the best feel in the best restaurants and the most pristine water. It just happens to be the most magnificent. That's all. Why would I? Even if you can get the ocean. So make a little effort. Walk. Besides, you know, have you ever actually 
had a, a place on the ocean. It can get really windy and it's relentless. But what is nice is the sound of the ocean, right? But just get one of those sleep machines. <laughs> get the white noise. It sounds like the ocean. Um, so the drive was good. I, the first time uh, the from Raleigh to Frisco, stopping to use the bathroom because it was the morning. Uh, and I, that's when I tend to use the bath, the, have to urinate more uh, twice within five hours. Um, I think I may have had coffee. That's a no-no before I travel. No coffee. Um, anyway, five hours. And then the way back, I went to Edenton. So it was two and a half one way, you know, to it, and then two and a half, just under actually. Um, but again, I stopped for gas. I didn't, I, did I have to pee? No, because it was only two hours and I didn't have any coffee. It's always my secret when I... Now that I know, new coffee, no. And then I can fly uh, just fine without having to like urgently have to pee. I don't like that feeling. Um, I think I'm gonna drop off there. This is just a, hey, I'm back. And I got me, I got, I got renewed and I'm doing yoga again. So I'm going to get my body strong again and flexible again. I got some flabby, um, I, but I want, if you see one of my videos where you see my body, this last recent one, I did a video session where I didn't talk and I just, Hey, this is how I do the yoga. You couldn't really see it. Cause it was coming on like, uh, you're a student. When I teach, I teach sideways. So the students can see my, me from looking at it as a profile. And they see what I'm doing and they can make their body co uh, corrections. And then I teach a sequence and then I walk around. So I am going to teach again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to find a venue first and foremost, and then make sure it's within my price range and then set it up. So that's what I'm going to be doing about the retreat. I will be uh, charging and I will be staying, um, where I told you that will be my space because it's, I can afford it. And it also is right there at the studio. And as the teacher and retreat leader, I will be teaching and in, in introducing Wes and this woman named Terry and whomever else is going to be teaching. So it's, I'm going to be the coordinator and there is a four by fours you can rent so that you can go out onto the beach with low air tire pressure and do your own thing. There's, you can uh, rent fishing equipment. You can actually join any boating activity you can think of. Pleasure cruises. And so that way we'll have our core practice in the morning from nine to 10. And then everybody goes off and does their own thing. And then we'll have a, uh, an evening session of um, truth and conversation dialogue and some meditations for spiritual alchemy that I'm learning now where we're just meditating and using color and then we're going to turn on the music and dance and if musicians want to bring their instruments or I can let you know which ones are available West plays banjo so we're going to have all these different options and um, depending upon the organic nature of who is in the group Right? So express interest by emailing ityogaguide at gmail.com. That information is also on my about page on my channel. And there you have it. Ask any questions in the comment section below. And even though this may be an old video by the time you get it, this retreat is going to be ongoing. I know exactly what people need and then I know exactly how magnificent to recharge and I know exactly how magnificent I f felt there it was wonderful and you know what else my ears didn't buzz and I didn't get headachey oh look I got some new earrings these are watermelon tourmaline 
These are watermelon tourmaline, and this is a moldavite. Aren't they nice? And they both do different things. And I found these earrings at this place called the Family Jewels. <laughs> Just had to have them. All right, loves. More later, okay?